Hey, this is Jason with Denworks. Pretty excited to show you this little 510. Uh, today it's a 1973. They actually only built uh, two doors in 1973 because the 610 came out kind of in a half half year. So these are actually, if, you, if you're in the know about 510s, pretty rare. Uh, you don't see 73s very often. There's a little bit of uh, some little subtle dis differences and, and things, but these are pretty special cars. Uh, you guys who know 510s already know that, but um, anyways, this is a pretty cool one. It's actually a two owner. Guy bought it in 1974 and uh, painted it black uh, in the mid 70s. And he put a crazy and red interior, red and black interior, kind of a velour um, with uh, 240Z seats. I went ahead and redid the seats and the door panels and everything, but left the 240Z seats because I like them. And I had the back seat matched uh, to the front. so. Um, it was new door panels. So anyways, it's a really cool car. We'll uh, walk around. It's kind of starting to sprinkle on me a little bit. You know, the paint's really old and it's had different paint work uh, through the years. I got it through the winter here, but we'll just do a little walk around and uh, show you different stuff on it. We'll go ahead and you put these kind of plasma lights in it. Let's go ahead and turn the headlights on. Then we got the bright lights. Pull it again. Those are bright lights. And then also you can see, they actually have to warm up a little bit, so the longer they're on, they, they brighten up. And we'll show you the fog lamps. Then we'll also show you the blinkers. There's the blinkers. The fog lamps, I mean the uh, bright lights and the, and the blinkers are on the same switch, so that's why they turned off a minute ago. So go ahead and shut those all off. You can see the marker lights we're working to. Shut the fog lamps off. And your bright lights. There we go. Um, anyways, I was going to go through and uh, show you the paint. The first thing I did to it is I actually put a uh, BRE uh, spook spoiler on, on the front air dam on it. Spoiler. Uh, I ordered that from BRE and installed it. I thought it looked nice on it. I haven't painted it or anything. It's just in the raw fiberglass. And it looks nice. I'm just going to walk through. You know, you look down the side, and it's actually for a black card, fairly straight, but you will see some wobbles down the side of it, especially in the quarter panel down there. You can actually see kind of a kind of an indention right here, and there's a little ding right there, and uh, you can see that the flares were put on. He put on in the in the 70s, and uh, he said he built them out of steel. Um, he had bigger tires on it. I actually put these tires on it and uh, it's got Koenigs on it, but I put these tires. The tires were a little bit too big and uh, they would rub. So there's little cracking you'll see right around here around the flare. Again, then the, the photos, the paint looks really nice, but, um, and it does look nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a, it's a good looking car, but the paint definitely has age. You know, it's probably 30 years old. You'll see sanding scratches um, in the hood in different areas. I'll never be able to show that in a video. These little spots right here, I don't know if you can see them. There's actually a little rain coming down, but it's got plenty of little chips. You can see a chip here, and uh, but definitely some age to the paint. So I don't want you to think it's got some brand new paint job on it, but um, you can see a little chip there. But there is some, um, there's a, some imperfections and stuff in it. It's not a high dollar paint job, but I mean, from 20 feet away, I mean, it really looks awesome. The amazing thing about it is it doesn't have any rust. I mean, this thing is really solid. I haven't seen any repairs on the floors. We'll put it up on my, on my lift so you can see it. You look across the rocker, very, very nice. I mean, you already know that 510s and uh, have, you know, sometimes can get some rust issues going on. You'll see a little paint scratch right here. You know, you'll see some other chipping on the door. You can see this flare. You can see some, you know, there's a little bit of filler there, obviously, but it is cracked there a little bit. This is just dusty. We've been driving it around and uh, out in the rain here and stuff. So um, we'll look around here to the back. You can see another little chip right there. There's some little tiny, um, not all this is rain, but hopefully you can see this in the photo. You can see a little bit of uh, some little bubbling right there. And there's also one right here on the on the quarter. You can see a little little bubble right there. And the other thing I was going to mention, 
too that originally when this thing was new it had uh, um, you know that molding that dealer installed molding down the side and there were some holes right here and I wasn't sure what to do he, he was gonna put them back on and he decided not to and um, so what we did is just put a stripe not trying to hide anything from anybody but there's little there's little tiny holes on this quarter and uh, on both sides so the stripes just go over it so you know the way to fix it would be uh, weld up the little holes and repaint the car because you know eventually you'll probably want to repaint the car maybe down the road and uh, but I didn't want you to take that tape off and see that we'll go ahead and show you the I'm going to show you the lights in the rear see the tail lights are on got your blinkers there's your left and your right and you'll notice too that the lights work in the license plate lights I already know the reverse lights don't work so um, they're not working right now and uh, it's got it's kind of cool I mean these are super old school Monza exhaust on it and uh, it's got uh, dual tips there go ahead and rev it up a little bit there Nolan I mean it sounds real good it's got a little bit of a cam in it which you can hear we'll talk about the motor later we'll go ahead and look on this side of the car you know here you can see some little chipping I'm just gonna dust it off here because the rain came down on me a little bit you can see right here there's a little bit of a uh, cracking here on this spoiler as well or the on this wheel flare as well but absolutely no rust behind the wheel you know very clean you can see little tiny cracking right there you know overall I mean this side when you look down the side looks really nice actually pretty straight and uh, it's, it's that corridor over on the other side that's a little bit more wobbly you know not a lot of cars can wear black in general you can see uh, right down here there's two little it's almost like a screw was on the other side or something like that and it pushed through and kind of made indentions that's not rust bubbles or anything but it made little indentions uh, pushing out and uh, but you can see this rock is really 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 nice one thing you'll notice too there's two things that I don't really like what they they did to the car I mean that's with any car I guess or something they shaved the door handles you might not have noticed that, but I know you purists have, and it has a sunroof in it. And uh, but I think what would be cool, actually, since it's got a sunroof in it already, is take this out and uh, put one of those uh, fabric ones that you see on uh, Volkswagens and, and different rigs. I think that'd be kind of cool. And uh, but you know, what do you do with? I mean, it's there. You know, it's a pretty rare rig in general, so um, it is what it is. So. Anyways, on this side, we'll just look down the side again. You know, it's it's just a nice looking car. I mean, I I like this car a lot, and uh, I think you know it, um, I hope that it goes to a good home. I mean, it's it's an honest car in general, and you know there'll be things that you you'll need to do uh, to it in the in the future and stuff. But you know, it's a it's a hard car to find. Okay, we're gonna take a look underneath the hood here. It's got a little latch underneath the underneath the dash there I'll have to go with one hand for a second anyways it's got a real clean engine compartment uh, the first thing I want to show you too is all the original spot welds here on the aprons you know the thing hasn't been hit very very clean up here and uh, I mean that's exactly what, what you want to see um, this engine is a uh, 1800 triple s engine it was put in in the early 80s he had actually put it in and it's got the triple s carburetors and uh intakes and everything the engine was uh, imported from japan and uh so they took the original out and put this engine in it back in the day actually he had bill's dotson which is in portland uh put it in they actually went through the motor it's got a little bit of a cam in it which you can hear a little bit so it, it scoots right along I mean this was what they did back in the day I mean it's pretty old school and uh, but very cool I mean I love it and so go ahead and uh, rev it up there a little bit 
you know, it sounds good. You can see the AC pump down there as well. You can see these HID ballasts down here in the front. And, uh, you know, that's something you could reverse if you wanted. But, you know, underneath the hood, it looks really, really clean. You can see underneath the edge of the hood, it's not rusty or anything. But, you know, again, it's it's pretty nice under, underneath here. And you can also see it's got header on it as well. You'll see more of it underneath as uh, we put it on my lift so you can see it. So anyways, uh, everything's in, in pretty good order underneath the hood. So one thing I'll notice uh, too, here's the, the VIN number you can see right there on the cowl. It's missing this tag right here that was underneath the hood. You know, he actually took it off. I mean, back in the day, he wasn't even thinking, you know, when he painted it underneath here and he took the screws out and lost the plate. And uh, But the most two important things on the car, really, you can get a reproduction plate, I believe. That ID number right there is the most important, and this one's the most important. And these, these do both match. You just missed that tag underneath the, on the, the um, strut tower. And then inside the door, there's another tag that he removed too. But anyways, it's got uh, correct IDs on the dash and, and uh, underneath the hood there. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you the wipers too. You can see they're working. Okay, here we are, we're gonna show you inside the interior. First, I wanted to show, show you, it's got a remote. And uh, so it's got power windows, power locks, and uh, but it's got a remote uh, for opening the door. So um, anyways, the first thing you do and I'm sure I'm gonna have to go over this with the new owner. You push that, the red light comes on, hold that down once, and the door opens. So inside, you'll see it's real nice, you know, very clean. We've got uh, 240Z uh, seats in it, and uh, I just had those redone, and they look really, really nice. You can see it's got two different kind of materials, like the early, early cars and stuff, so. Uh, what I did is I had the the back matched as well, so they look identical to the front, which looks really nice. You can, you can see it's got a Datsun 620, you know, out of a pickup center console, and uh, one of the reasons this in here obviously is for a console. And uh, but here you can open the windows and uh, do the do the door lock. So if you hit that one, it opens one door. If you hit this one, it opens another door. There's your fog lamps right here. I'll show you how the window obviously works you just hit the switch and the window goes up then it goes down i mean i don't know why i had to show you that but i mean that's how it works and uh, if you look across the dash very very nice it's not cracked or anything you can see it's got an original 73 steering wheel as well you can see it's got a factory tack like i mentioned before it's not hooked up and uh miles on her 84 617 uh, the guy that I got it from, you know, he didn't drive it that much. He he says that's true mileage on it, and uh, it's been a lot of customization and stuff. But I don't have any documentation and stuff. But I mean, the guys owned it since 1974. I don't think you would know. But again, I don't have any documentation on that. You can see inside the jam. You know, again, very nice. No rust. No accident damage. You can inside this jam. You know, again, very very clean. And. Uh, I mean, this is how you want to find one of these cars and uh, you can look at the door panel it actually comes with four other speakers when I got it it had that red and black interior there was a speaker here there was a speaker in the back panels you'll get those four speakers I just didn't have the heart to you know put holes in those new door panels and uh, so you'll get the speakers it's got a sub in the back and two speakers in the in the tray there but um, behind the seat but you can see here the end of the door is very nice we'll go ahead and uh, look at the other side okay here we are on the passenger side you know again the the seat is real nice real nice condition it's kind of cool that these seats actually here the switch if you if you pull it up you can actually lay that seat down so that's pretty cool about that so anyways you also see here the factory air conditioning you know this was an option and uh which is nice and it, it does work as i mentioned before the cigarette lighter's not working 
and there's a little crack right here in the in the housing and some of the little vents are messed up right there you can see that look here in the glove box you can see here it's got a USB in there he liked Ted Nugent so I'm gonna let that go with the car and uh, but you can look here on the dash again it's very very clean the headliners not uh, factory uh, but it looks really nice really nice job there's one little hole you can see right here in the headliner and uh, I guess you just leave it but again the the headliner lighters real the headliners real nice you can see it's got a little light he put on it as well I was gonna show you a few things um, also you can look inside the jam got a little dusty here but you can see this jam again real nice it's not uh, hit or anything you look inside this jam too you know it's not rusty no stress on the hinges or anything um, take a look at this door panel again you'll see uh, still photos of all this too but I just wanted to walk around it I know my videos get a little lengthy um, but I'm just trying to show you everything I'm not uh, doing videos for entertainment or anything and uh, so but the guy that really wants to buy a car like this um, you want to see everything you can see these latches Um, also wanted to note that some of the windows have a little bit of scratching and uh, stuff on them and uh, you'll just see different places especially on these these windows here I'll show you some more on this side you can see some heavy scratching on the window right there so show you behind the wheel just different things and you know how it handles a little bit you know it's a four speed factory four speed and uh, I've already told you about the engine and, and stuff but I just wanted to show you different components you can see here it's got an aftermarket radio Don't you know? it's an Alpine the radio actually works but there's not an antenna um, you know on the car if you've noticed and it's also got a USB port in here and there's a USB plug in here so um, you know that way if you want to plug your iPod or, or anything in um, different things here the temp gauge works the fuel gauge works odometer works right now it's got 84 615 on it and the uh, speedometer works the tack isn't working right now because the uh, it's got electronic ignition and it, it can't read it um, also, this is a cool thing about this car. You'll notice that it's got factory air conditioning. That was an option in 1973. I've got that uh, promote promotional sheet that uh, that Dotson uh, put out that's included in the auction. But you can see the dash is real nice. The AC does blow cold, and uh, it's actually on right now, and it's on the cold mode. But um, it's nice and then you have your heater up here and the heater fan works and everything too so um, and your choke is right down here underneath the dash and the horn the horn works but it's a little bit in, intermittent you can kind of hear it deep in there and then also on 73s they also had a rear window defrogger as well you see the light lights up so anyways it's a it's a fun car to drive and uh, very very cool so we'll just uh, cruise around for a little bit okay here we are underneath the 510 just wanted to show you a video of it instead of just the still photos the still photos are nice and uh, but this gives you a better look of underneath and I can just explain different things you know poke you know different things on the floors and and uh, just show you different components and things so it's just just easier to talk about it and just gives you a different perspective you can see the tires here 
I'll just start from the front to the back, but you can see the tires here are uh, 04, 14, so they're only a couple years old, and they have really good tread. I'd say they're probably 99%. You can actually see the little nubs just barely starting to wear off on them, but you can see that you know that the tire wear is real good from each side, and uh, so really a nice shape. We'll look across here, the core support, very very nice. You know it's not hit, no damage. You can see the original spot welds and stuff here. You know absolutely no rust. You look up inside the the wheel well here, very clean. You know not hit or anything, no rust. You can see up there with the shock mounts and the struts. Looks all really, really good. And uh, we'll go off to the other side here. This is the area where the battery is. This is a typical area that would be, you know, sometimes rusted out. You know, this car has absolutely no rust that I found on it, or no uh, repairs that I've noticed. But, you know, up there underneath the battery is very nice. And we'll just look inside the wheel well here again. You know, again, in really nice shape. You can see here the, the brake lines. Rubber brake lines all look really good. I haven't seen any cracking or anything on each side. It's got also a, a larger sway bar. You know, you can notice here it's a lot larger than than a normal sway bar. You can see some of the, the little rubber on the sway bar itself. Those could probably be replaced. Uh, it's not nothing you have to do right away, but just the, the ones here have a little bit of cracking. You know, here's a little tiny cracking, but, but not much. We actually put a uh, larger um, alternator on it as well. You can see here the oil pan looks pretty good. I noticed a little bit of seepage towards the back here, um, but it all it all looks pretty good. Transmission looks dry as well. I noticed a little drip um, a couple times, and I thought maybe it was coming from the pan. They were actually pretty loose around there, and I tightened it up. So we'll see what that looks like when we put it back down on the ground and, and run it for a while. These two little tubes here are just the uh, vent tubes from the carburetors. I'll just show you the disc brake rubber line on this side. You know, it looks, looks in nice shape as well. We'll go ahead in here and look at the floors and the frame rail. I mean, the frame rail looks excellent. You can see some of the red paint underneath here as well because it was originally red. You can see this frame rail again looks excellent. You can see the floor, you know. I'm not afraid to stick a screwdriver anywhere on it. I mean, it's it's really solid. And uh, you look at the rocker on this side, absolutely no rust, you know, very, very clean. You can see the exhaust has been upgraded as well. And it's got a header on it. You can see the muffler all the way back. And then it splits back here into Monza tips. Pretty cool. I haven't seen those tips for a long time. You can see here on the on the frame rail back here, very, very clean, no rust. You look here on this other side as well. You know, very clean. I mean, that's this is hard to find a Datsun like this. And if you've been around these cars, um, they're usually not this solid. You know, they've usually got some issues. But this car's probably spent most of its life in a in a garage. You know, it's only a you know it's a two owner car. Guy bought it in 1974, as I explained earlier. And you can see this frame rail, very very clean. We'll go ahead and look at this rocker here. Very nice shape. You know, no bubbles in it. When he did the flares, he actually did them out of steel. He did that all himself back in the in the 70s. You can see here it's also got a sway bar, bar on the on the rear. You know, again the, the little rubber bushings could be uh, changed out, but um, that makes handling a lot nicer. You can see drum brakes in the back. You can see the re <coughs> rear end is in um, really nice shape. I haven't seen any leaking or anything. You can see here the <coughs> the rubber boots look good. You know, they're not cracked or anything. Very clean. Here's these tips again from this side. <coughs> you know, and they're in nice shape. You can see the bottom of the quarter panels again, very, very clean. <coughs> you 
You can see the bottom of the, the quarter panel on this side as well. You can see here there's no accident damage behind the trunk <clears throat> area. You know, very clean. And uh, you can see the bumper mount <clears throat> here where it's connected to the frame rail. You know, it's not hit or anything. It's, it's in nice shape. So, anyways, I hope that uh, gives you a nice look of underneath. I'm not gonna have to get a drink of water here. I can barely, <laughs> barely talk. So, anyways, uh, oh, one thing else I noticed, um, I forgot to tell you about. It's got air shocks in the back. There's not too much air in them, in them now, but you could pump them up if you wanted to. But that's where it is here. And then also, right here, I was talking about it earlier. This will let you unlock the, the door. So <clears throat> if you get locked out or anything, that's just a remote switch. So anyways, I hope uh, that helps you underneath and it's a great car structurally in really nice shape. So if you got questions, give me a call. You can uh, email or you know ask questions through BAT and I'd be glad to answer.